was the difference for y'all early on? You had the false starts kind of, you know, and Connor was under pressure. It looked like a totally different scene for y'all in the second half. What was the difference? Uh, the first half, we just had to get settled in. You know, we were uh, real antsy, especially up front. Um, but we, we got settled in in the second half, as you said. Uh, that, that was the problem then, and we got it fixed quick. Any other questions for Layden? We'll go front row on the right side to Cole, and then the left side. Layden, how do you think of Le'Veon's performance and Amari's performance, and just the run blocking in general? Mm -hmm. They did great. Uh, they did their job. That's what's expected of them every time. Uh, every every person on our offense, every person on our team, they have a job, and um, they just did their job today. Uh, we did our best to open up the gaps for them, and they hit them, and they made big runs. And you just see what happens when you just keep pounding the rock and pounding the rock. Something got to give, you know. And uh, we had a couple of good runs, and that was good. But now we just got to evolve better. Now we could have had a better running game today. Some stops got held up on the line that shouldn't have happened. Uh, we just got to get better at that in practice, look at film, see why they didn't hit, and then next game make them hit. And then Jimbo was kind of talking about being a back and forth game can test the mindset of a team. What, what do you think about this kind of game where it is back and forth and how it does set the tone going into SEC play? There's resiliency. When you get into games like this and when you play great teams like this, especially in the trenches with the mindset up front is who, who's going to break? That's the mindset that you have to have going against these teams, going against those big guys in the trenches, who's going to break? And is it you going to break or are they going to break? Um, that's the mindset that you have to have. And you got to have the mindset that you're not going to break at all, that you're going to keep foot on the pedal no matter what the scoreboard is, no matter how tired you feel, you're not tired. You just got to keep going and keep hustling every single play. We'll go fourth row on the left side and then Travis. Going into the second half when you're having to make the change at quarterback, uh, is there anything that changes for the O-line? Or is, is there anything that clicked for you guys like we really need to, you know, lock in because it's, you know, game plans can be just a little bit different than it was in that first half with Connor? Well, well, we, when we really thought about it, you know, when a quarterback change happened, we just had to say, hey, let's make sure that we focus on the little things and get on our job. Uh, we figured out what we made a mistake on, and we said, hey, let's uh, scratch that next drive. Uh, next play, um, and that's the mindset that you have to have going up front. You know, their guys, they're on scholarship too, so they're going to make plays. So you just have to make sure that you have a, a play that you come back on. Uh, that's how it is. You just got to have a rebuttal. We'll go front row on the right side to Travis and then Olin. Yeah, what's the uh, emotion from an O-lineman when you see your quarterback take a hit and he's hobbling to the locker room and mm -hmm. you, you, I'm sure feel for him, but also have to yeah. kind of get move forward and, and get the mindset to the, to the next drive? You know, the emotion is that you never want that to happen to your quarterback. You know, your quarterback is your pride and joy. Um, and we take a very big responsibility uh, with our quarterbacks. I mean, took it hard when he got hurt, but at the same time, you have to say, well, you got to shake that off. And the thing about it is, after the game, I was just thinking about getting my eyes on him and looking at him to make sure that he was okay and checking up on him and his family uh, because, you know, he's a big part of our team. And Max did a great job stepping up today. You know, that's the, that's the type of guy that you uh, want on your team because uh, no matter what position that he was in, he stepped in and, and he performed when he needed to. We'll go second row on the right side to Olin and then TV row. Layton, I know you're a big leader on this team, so uh, I wonder if um, at halftime or at any time did you have – Anything to say to Max and second part of this, uh, what was Max like in the huddle when y'all first went out there in the second? No, half? Max came to me with his own energy, said we're not going to slow down. And um, that's that's what we did. We didn't slow down. Um, uh, usually, you know, the quarter, I'm a leader on, a, on an offensive line, but, you know, the quarterback is the leader of the offense, hands down. So what type of energy the quarterback have, the offense is going to have. So he brought that energy uh, into the huddle, and that's what we played like. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, great job to Max. He came in and stepped up. We'll go back behind the lights on the left side to Daryl and then Ben. Layden, can you talk about being on the sideline and seeing the transformation of this defense from the Miami game two weeks ago to what you witnessed today? Oh, man. It's, uh, I'm very proud of our defense. Our defense, this is the defense that we've went against all fall camp. This is the defense that we went against all spring now. We used to get in tussles with in practice, you know, the competitiveness was very high. This is this is the defense, and y'all saw it today. Uh, and now they're just going to keep building on it. Uh, y'all saw something that we already knew, that we already knew. Just because they was having struggles earlier doesn't mean that they can't come back and they showed the world what they could do. And now we just got to build on it. We'll stay back behind the lights on the right side to Ben. Layden, uh, you mentioned battling adversity. What's something as an offensive line, I know you're looking to physically just dominate every time, but mm -hmm. when it is – just sort of that tug of war kind of stalemate, so to speak. What are some things y'all say, you know, regardless of just pure physical domination, we should always be able to check these boxes? And how do you feel like y'all did in those areas? 
Uh, we just gotta. We always check the boxes with technique, hat placement, making sure that we're in the right uh, right space at the right time to uh, do our job. Uh, and especially at offensive line, that's what you're always thinking: How can I do my job the best this play? You gotta uh, shorten your mind, your train of thought to thinking, well, I just have to do my job. There's, like I mentioned earlier, there's some things that we messed up on and I believe that we shouldn't have messed up on. But you know, that happens every game. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get better at those and just uh, redo it in practice and uh, get ready for the next game. We'll go front row on the left side to Mark. Layton, you mentioned that one of the things you talk about is you don't wanna be the one to break. Did you guys kind of get a sense that they were about to break at any point? Um, you know, we just, we just kept playing the game. You know, when you play the game and our defense was creating a lot of momentum, that tends to put a lot of pressure on the other uh, on the other defense because their offense is not getting anything going. So we just felt that down the stretch, and we're like, we got we have to put our foot on the neck, and we got to finish them because um, you know we have uh, problems finishing in the last uh, couple of games. Um, so that was a big deal for our offense that we have to finish. We have to put our uh, foot on people's throats and finish the drive, score in the red zone. Sometimes we didn't score in the red zone this game, but we have to get that habit going for our offense that we could be resilient no matter what we face. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole. Layden, it's not only that he started last year a couple of games, but also when he was at LSU. Just mm -hmm. do you think that Connor's, ex I mean, uh, Max's experience playing against SEC competition has given him that confidence to carry it over to when he gets a chance to play in games? Of course he has. Uh, Max always had that confidence, even when he transferred in. You feel it. Um, he's no pushover at all. If y'all can see him in practice, especially when he talks to our defense, our defense love it. He, they love his energy. That's just what he came in with. Uh, he came in with that fire. Uh, that that no matter what position that he's in, he's going to ball out and he's going to do what he has to do. And he showed that today. All right, that's all we have. Thank you, Layden. All right, y'all have a blessed day.